G'day guys, Wes from Unsealed. Um, so, the last little thing we're going to do in the beginner's guide to 12 volt system, the tools at least, uh, is the clamp meter. So, you may or may not have seen one of these, it's got a clamp on it. And the beautiful thing about this is that it lets you test amp draw, current draw on your system. Uh, don't get it wrong, it works on AC as well, but we're just going to use it for DC. But you don't need to break the circuit to do it. You can literally have a circuit powered up, put a clamp meter around the wire, and it'll tell you how many amps you're drawing. It's really good for a lot of things. Um, so let's get into showing you how they work and what they do. And this is my personal favorite, guys. This is the clamp meter. Um, really simple to use, really, really cool little bit of kit. Now, as you probably have seen in the multimeter one, you can do similar things with a multimeter that you can do with this. This just makes life a little bit easier. So if we wanted to, just say we had lights um, connected up to this circuit, say we had a spotlight connected over here, which we don't, our pins are not connected to anything. Um, but if they were, we could work out how many amps we're drawing through that light, right? So in, with a normal multimeter, you have to put one terminal on here and the other one on the light up to a maximum of 10. And the problem with doing that is if we're drawing more than 10 amps, we can blow the multimeter up or the fuse in it. And then you've also got to break the circuit. Whereas this one, we could have the connection already done, right? So everything's, we're connected already here. You've got your light over in the background there. And then all we've got to do is put the clamp meter around that wire. And it will then tell us how many amps we're drawing through that wire. So it goes through, all right, it won't work if you stick it on top, if you put it underneath, if you hold it around, it won't work. It has to be between the jaws, it has to be inside the jaws. Once it's there, it'll give you a really good reading of that. What you can also use these little things for, um, so obviously it will tell us volts. All right, you can use it as a normal multimeter. It will tell us how many volts we've got. Okay, obviously you've got your standard ports. You've got your com, which is your common, so that's your earth. And you've got your positive, which will give you volts, temperature, ohms, and capacitance. All right, so we can go obviously to ohms with our ports, which are not connected, temperature, and then 40 amps DC, 400 amps DC. So if you're going to test something in a car, Fingers crossed it's under 40 amps, um, unless it's like a proper big power cable, which at which point you go to 400. All right, but for most of the stuff we're gonna do, you're gonna go there, okay? And that will give you a really, really good indication of what we're doing. So simple as turning it on, zero off the gauge, and around a wire. Can be negative, can be positive, doesn't matter. I always, for some reason, do negative. Um, for some reason, my brain's telling me there's a really interesting piece of information as to why. I can't remember it, so it'll work on both, but I just have a habit of using the negative. All right, and that is our humble little clamp meter. They are a magic bit of kit.